Usually when I buy the cheaper version of something, I regret it as it breaks extremely quickly. However, when a company, out of respect for their name, I'm not gonna try to use the real pronunciation, just one that I know I can say, JS Aux reached out to me asking me to utilize a budget-friendly MagSafe charger they offer on Amazon for just 15 US dollars. Whereas Apple's iconic MagSafe charger comes in at twice that cost and that's at a discount on amazon.com. So naturally I was extremely intrigued on whether or not this would be a good investment. But that raised a question with budget-friendly options usually letting me down in the long term. Should you buy a budget-friendly MagSafe charger from JS Aux? Jumping right into what this product has going for it. Foremost and the most obvious is its price. It is very, very budget friendly, something that as a broke college student, I am very fond of. Moreover, as soon as I opened it, I also noticed that it has both USB type A and C built into it. So it doesn't matter whether you have Apple's $20 charging brick or a regular charging brick, they will both get the job done. Now Apple's 20 watt one might get it done faster, but they still both work and you don't have to worry about having only USB-C charging bricks around your house. Something that I'm really fond of as I believe in reusing what you can. Additionally, as soon as I took it out of the box, another thing I noticed right away was the long wire length. Something I'm always fond of as this 90% of the time can be a benefit to almost any charger. Furthermore, more, it also comes in two different colors. You can get white, which is the same that Apple offers with MagSafe, or this bluish color that I got that I actually am really fond of, and I always appreciate being able to choose from a different array of colors, so this is an added benefit in my personal opinion. Surprisingly, it also has 15 watt charging, meaning it can charge at the same speed as Apple's MagSafe, something I was surprised to see as I figured because it's cheaper, it wouldn't be able to charge at the same rate. Despite its cheap price, it was still able to achieve this high speed of charging. And finally, it has a really strong magnet that was at first kind of annoying to me as trying to peel the phone away from the magnet could be a bit troublesome but in the long term I was pretty happy with as I think it's a good thing if your phone were to almost fall off the bed or off of a counter that is charging on you can trust that it will likely stay attached to the charger and not hit the ground and break. So despite the initial annoyance of trying to separate it once you get used to that I think it's actually an added benefit. With all the benefits this device has going for it, it can almost sound perfect. However, it definitely does need an improvement in at least one area, and that, in my personal opinion, is quality. When buying something at this price point, your expectations in regard to something's quality have to be relatively low, and that's what I had for this product, and unsurprisingly, it just wasn't on the same level as Apple's MagSafe is. But if you take good care of it, I have no doubt it will last for the time to come, and it's just a price you have to pay when spending half the price, or even less than that, on a product that essentially achieves the same functionality of the name brand. So in conclusion, despite this one flaw that is arguably not even a flaw, something I was aware of going into this, I think this is overall a great product and I'm really happy that it was made as I just did not like the high price of Apple's MagSafe line. So at the end of the day, I would recommend investing in this product if you're in need of a budget-friendly MagSafe charger. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator like myself, any and all support really does help.